Something screwy is going on in the land of Dolby, and I want to talk to you guys about it after the intro. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delisella with Audioholics. Today I want to talk to you about Dolby Atmos and the Dolby Upmixer, the DSU, the Dolby Surround. Lots of different acronyms, but basically if you buy any modern receiver today, you're getting a Dolby Atmos processing in it, and it has the Dolby Surround up mixer. So you could take your two channel audio, whether it's music or cinema, and up mix it so you could use all your speakers in your room. Well, Dolby used to have a feature called center spread, and I really like to turn center spread on for two channel music because it actually spreads that sound from the center channel to the left and right speakers, so it preserves the stereo imaging. So your problem with a lot of the up mixers, at least from the old days, was if they didn't have a way to either widen the center channel or turn it off, anytime you had a two channel source, it would dump all that information into the center channel and it would just kill the whole imaging of the front stage and it sounded very unnatural. And that's why most people like to just listen to two channel music in two channel rather than expand it with your surround speakers. So years before Dolby Atmos came out, we had, we had um, a cinema mode and music mode for Dolby Digital and Dolby True HD. And that was nice because the music mode, you could switch to it for two channel music and it kind of really killed the center channel. It barely put it on. And then for cinema mode, it did the left plus right dump into the center so you could hear a better anchoring of your center dialogue. DTS had the same thing. DTS had a music mode and a cinema mode. Well, when Dolby Atmos came out and DTS X came out, you know, Dolby had the center spread, DTS X did not. And I did not like the DTS X up mixer as a result. In fact, I think it sounds terrible for music. I've been saying this for years now. Don't use the DTS X up mixer for two channel music. Use the Dolby Atmos one because the Dolby up mixer, when you turn center spread on, sounds great. Well, I convinced my brother to upgrade his receiver a couple of months ago. I convinced him to get a Denon AVR-X 3600H, which I've spoken about many times on this channel. It's my opinion, the best value receiver for about a thousand bucks if you want to expand your system to 11 channels using a two channel external amplifier. Well, when my brother went and he got it all hooked up, he put on Pandora and he put on all of his different streaming apps. He's like, Gene, he goes, this thing sounds great when I listen to movies, but when I put on my Pandora, I put on Tidal or I put on Spotify, everything dumps to the center channel. I said, Dom, got a solution for you. Go into the menus, turn center spread on. And I gave him the directions on how to do it. He calls me back a few minutes later. He's like, there's no center spread feature. It's non-existent in the receiver. So I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, my brother is not the most technically proficient person when it comes to electronics. He might have a PhD, but it's in ecology. It's not in engineering. So sorry, Dom. But um, okay, so I said, well, maybe they changed where this is in the menus because right now the only Sound United product I have in my place is a Marantz SR8012. So I know exactly how to get to the Dolby uh, center spread feature, right? So I go on the phone with him, I screen share with him, I'm looking through all the menus, and sure enough, he's right. There is no center spread feature. So we went and emailed Sound United and told them, hey, we can't find the center spread feature on this receiver. And their response was that Dolby has taken that out of the licensing agreement on all products going forward in 2020. And I was like, my jaw just dropped. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Why would you take away such a useful feature. Why would you eliminate something that's allowing people to enjoy their two channel music with all of their speakers without dumping everything to the center channel and destroying the imaging from your front channels? And they didn't have an answer for me. So I tried to contact Dolby, tried the phone, I tried emailing them. Two days later, they emailed me back a canned ham response saying you should be listening to discrete multi-channel music through the Dolby Up Mixer for best performance. That's the answer they gave me. So they basically have now alienated people that don't have multi-channel discrete music on any licensed product in 2020 and beyond without center spread. And I think that's crazy. I really don't understand that. 
And I'm not sure if this is going forward. I'm not sure if every licensee of Dolby is having this problem. I know all of the Sound United pro uh, products are conforming to the Dolby licensing agreement. So going forward, you're probably not gonna see center spread feature on those products. I heard from other people on the forums that they had a Yamaha receiver that they've updated the firmware to and they lost the center spread feature. So this is like one of those things that I reported on years ago when Dolby was, was restricting the cross mixing uh, between their Kodaks and they eventually caved when we did this video to expose that. So I'm hoping that enough people see this video and share it Write to Dolby, complain to Dolby, complain to your favorite receiver manufacturer. Get that center spread back. Like Arnold says, put that cookie down. Give me thy center spread back. That's what I want you guys to do today with the message for today is get the receiver companies, get Dolby on board. We want our center spread back. Because if you're like me, I love listening to two channel music up mixed with my DSU, because the Dolby DSU I thought was a great sounding up mixer. But right now, without center spread, I wouldn't be using it. I would just be listening in two channel, or I guess I would probably stick some speakers heights uh, front and back and try the Oro 3D up mixer. And I think this is a real problem now. If people don't like the up mixing sound of the Dolby up mixer, they're gonna try to switch to an Oro, which, which is challenging because the speaker compatibility between the layouts is different. So that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Comment down below, tell me what you think about not having the Dolby center spread feature. I think it's a big deal. You tell me if you think it's a big deal. Make sure you thumb up this video, subscribe to our channel, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash audioholics. I'm gonna be giving you guys unique content there that you don't always get here. You're gonna see our videos there first as well. And we're gonna be doing some cool contest announcements going forward. Well, that's it. And until next time, my friends, Keep listening.